I now like to call on Dr. Julio Montana. Uh, thank you, Craig. Um, as you heard, uh, today is truly a historical day in this country and uh, in our fight against uh, um, ideology over evidence. Uh, we have now shown that the Supreme Court of Canada uh, have the wisdom uh, to look at the evidence objectively and decide that addiction is a medical condition. Um, that harm reduction is the standard of care that should be applied to this condition. That insight is an integral part of our efforts to uh, uh, diminish the damage and in fact move or help move the lives of these uh, individuals affected by this condition uh, to a better place, to a better level of functioning. Uh, and they have actually indicated that the uh, federal government acted unconstitutionally uh, by trying to limit the ability of insight to act. And finally, they have ordered the federal government uh, to reinstate the exemption so that this site could function. We couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, the Supreme Court of Canada, all nine of their uh, members, uh, voted unanimously to endorse the work of insight. And in doing so, they have sent a very clear message uh, where our activities should go from now on. I have been asked a number of times to speculate what's next. But I think the first thing is obvious. Insight will remain uh, as a beacon for the rest of the country, North America and the rest of the world, in terms of how to approach the management of uh, uh, intravenous addiction. Uh, beyond that, uh, the court did not uh, step outside of the boundaries of the specific question which related to insight. But uh, you have to uh, wonder uh, uh, whether or not uh, harm reduction uh, can be physically restricted. In other words, um, if, if harm reduction is the best that we can offer to individuals in this facility, uh, why is that we're going to restrict it here? We cannot have harm reduction here and harm promotion across the street. Uh, we need to break the barriers uh, that make it so that harm reduction uh, as a supervised injection site uh, promotes uh, is restricted to this facility and move on uh, outside of this environment. Uh, I can see the day in the not too distant future uh, where harm reduction will be embedded uh, within our healthcare system uh, as a, an ethical, a necessary, uh, a mandated uh, part of, uh, of the support that we provide to uh, individuals who are addicted. Uh, and I look forward to that. Thank you.